I've been meaning to do a short recommendations video for a little while, so here we are. I'm limiting myself to six channels for this video, six channels that I thoroughly enjoy and find myself clicking on pretty much every video they release. So in no particular order, Spectre Sound Studios. Glenn Fricker is one of Canada's most respected heavy metal producer slash engineers. I stumbled across his channel one day when I was researching studio plugins. One of Glenn's gear reviews caught my eye, which led me to binge watching a solid amount of his content that night. Heavy metal isn't really my thing, but Glenn's also one really funny motherfucker. My favourite part of his channel is a series he does called Stupid Musician Texts, which highlights some of the most retarded, vacuous musicians attempting to communicate with studio engineers. He was even good enough to let me be in an episode a couple of weeks ago. Next up is a wonderful conversation about the virtues of recording a Line 6 Spider. Our very good friend Baring is going to take this one on. Fuck, no, not again. Glenn, what are you doing? Bringing Milo on next? Fuck, I'm out of here. Berkeley! Dude, seriously, why can't I use my app? Because number one, your amp is trash. Number two, you want to use a Line 6 over my Panama. And number three, while the effects may be passable, they aren't suited for a professional record. Whatever, you suck. Tons of bands use Line 6s to make records. Please, oh please tell me of the bands that used a Line 6 Spider to create their legendary iconic tones. I'll wait. I am pretty sure you know who those bands are. My band is one. Absolutely brilliant. I forgot your band. The band who asked me to record their debut album. The band who has no fan base. The band who has no music recorded. I forgot you used spiders to create your undeniably perfect tone. You wish you could get those tongs. Your stupid panorama can't do shut. Shit. Shaking my head. It's a Panama. You may not like the amplifiers that I have, but I will not allow mediocre beginner grade trash to pass through my speakers. You may want to look elsewhere. Thanks for your time. Peace. Fuck you, asshole! Fucking Paige used these amps! You just don't know good tone! Go fuck yourself, idiot! Jeff Holiday. You'll probably recognise Jeff from live streams and stuff I've been on in the past. He's a super chill sort of guy and one of my solid internet homies. Whether it's super serious or a light-hearted fuck around, in terms of content, Jeff pretty much just does whatever the fuck he wants. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Oh, hey, uh, we're fine. Well, do you want to introduce me to your new friend? My name is Leroy. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, I'm pleased, pleased to meet you, too. Absolutely. Well, cool. Hey, so, um, we're supposed to be doing another episode of, uh, you know, your show, so, uh... Y your friend uh, Leroy here, do you think maybe you might want to stick around and uh, and help out with it? I guess I could do that. I don't know if I'm very qualified for it, though. Well, I mean, you know, you being a marital aid of color, uh, that maybe you have, might have a really interesting insight into uh, what we're going to talk about today. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeff, what the fuck is wrong with you? Papa and Penguin Fake Podcast. Esau and David are the chaotic podcast couple of YouTube. Esau's an awkward but jovial bumbling fat fuck, while David is a painfully straight-laced no-bullshit army sergeant, or major, or fucking corporal or something, I don't know. But together, there's just something really likeable about them. Plus, they don't mind coordinating their guests for maximum, um, effect. I'm not, no, no, in, in, in fact, if you look at it, almost every single social justice warrior, be it a feminist, an MRA, they're, they're all wrong. They're all fucking wrong. Why, why on your channel? Just because I'm actually curious, do you spend so much time on just like these random feminist people is it like but why is it that specific subject that because you know, i think i think some of the the ideas that that are that's that's being pushed by feminists are, are fucking disgusting are, are absolutely disgusting and unhealthy and i i can't stand the fucking the the lack of responsibility and the, and the hypocrisy in the movement like something to think about it before i think i've just seen one of your your tweets right i'm um, talking about how <laughs> How, how how I can I can you know stop the harassment and all that sort of shit that you talk, and <laughs> and, and something dawned on me right. Do you do you recall that um when Michael tweeted that that girl's video out and basically just said oh, I like this, and, and I did a video on it and it was the one that said the one that said in in the United States there's a, a woman gets raped every six seconds right. It was that one right, and, and I was thinking I thought. Yeah, he, here all you guys are saying, oh, fuck, how do we stop bearing this fucking, this, this bully? Rah, rah. The power is in your hands. Because if, if I if I clicked on her video, right, because I, I know I know that statistic is absolutely fucking bullshit. And I, I, don't, I don't like mm. lies and bullshit being spread. I don't like it, right? Because it's just, it's not good for anyone. But I click on right. her video and I see the likes of Michael and I see Chris Yossity and I see fucking, you know, American fucking anarchist or whatever all saying oh bravo love good video you said that perfectly no 
but she fucking didn't. She fucking she blatantly spun shit. If I saw you mm. guys say, "Hey, hey, listen, love, you might be, uh, you might, you might have confused this fact. It's actually nowhere near that. You know, here's 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 the real the real uh, info. If I saw that, there's every chance I'd look at it and go, "Oh, well, she's taken care of. Move on." But right. I don't see. I see. I see you guys, the, the representatives, the, 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 the seniors, if you like, of, of this move, movement, <laughs> going and, and patting on the head, saying, "Oh, well done, good, you know, good, good job, you know, for spinning shit." But I do think that people do start getting together in like groups, and I think if you are continually attacking like all these random YouTube feminists, then other feminists are going to be like. They're being attacked and they should be able to express their views okay. now as as for them being corrected and being wrong you may have a point there uh, but we're not really talking about that we're just talking about the fucking atmosphere and the environment of youtube no, hold on let me let me say something nobody is wanting to censor feminists we yeah. want we want well, these people to keep talking yeah. because it's we're giving them rope material or something yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah. bearing i i had one thought today uh, okay. listening about why didn't you contact the people that you're going to reply to you could just tell them like hey i'm going to reply to your video that could be something you could do you guys are on YouTube doing this publicly, right? If someone's going to say, I'm an idiot, this fat guy, Issa, is an idiot, so I'm going to start making a video to make him look bad, that person's more <laughs> than welcome to do that. I mean, that, that, that's the whole like, point of YouTube. So, that's, so oh, Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim, when someone makes a video that says, hey, the earth is flat, or hey, yeah. magic I mean, is real, heads up. Do, hmm. do we need to give these people leniency and, and let them know that beforehand that we're going to criticize him or can we just criticize him? Oh, this is all discombobulating. Oh, loud noises. Noel Plum. Noel's been on YouTube for fucking ages. He's a very matter-of-fact British guy who's known for his balanced, well-researched response videos. Unfortunately for Noel, he just can't seem to get his response videos recognised by the people he'd like to recognise them. Maybe a few new subscribers would help out. Christy Winters, Michael Rollins, they're, they're main two that's kind of got under my skin with this, but then you can add demotivator opinion, Kevin Logan, Chrissy Ossity, Micaiah B, I suppose. There's others, right? And I'm, I'm sick of hearing this crap that the people that they're in dispute with, and I'm usually one of them, don't tackle the arguments. If only, this is what I keep hearing, that if only the other side would stop producing this clickbaity crap, if only the other side would stop attacking the individuals, because that's what it's always about. Attack, attack, attack the individual, never attack the argument, always make it personal. If only they'd stop doing that. If only they'd stop being so abusive and start tackling the points, right? Start researching and working their videos out and attacking the points and making counter-arguments, then we could all have some kind of discourse over this, right? And it's absolute fucking bullshit, it is. It's horse shit. I could spend a fucking... I could spend a week fucking sketching out, researching, planning a video, recording a video, editing a video, making you a reasoned response based on your... on your arguments, right? And bearing could... Sp Spend 10 or 15 fucking seconds making a video going something like, Hello, Michael, fucking bearing here. You're a right fucking cunt because you think that there's more than two fucking biological sexes, you wanker. Oh, and which one we'll get? Which one would be totally and utterly ignored, right? And which one would be the launch point for a three part fucking video response and a live hangout? My one would be. I'm going to give you all a wanker score, right? Based on how big a fucking wanker I think you all are in this regard. So let's start off with, let's start off with Chrissy Ossity and Micaiah B, right? And they're kind of, not half right? They're a kind of lazy lob on, okay? They're not too bad. Kevin Logan, half erect. Christy, Christy, fully erect, fucking one jizz shot. But Michael Rollins, he's a fucking, he's a fucking triple spurter. He's the fucking Trevi Fountain of wankers. It's like watching, it's like, it's like some kind of, it's like some kind of YouTube horse porn facial jizz shot experience is Michael Rollins with regard to this. So you want a bit of fucking drama, there's a bit of drama. That's all I wanted to say. Get your fucking acts in order. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I'm off to watch a few YouTube videos. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Now, this looks a good video. Let's have a look at this one. Oh no, shit, it's a Michael Rollins video. Easy Tonto. No, easy Tonto. <laughs> Harmful Opinions. Harmful Opinions has a talent for cutting through bullshit and setting cats amongst pigeons, and he loves doing it. 
He lost his channel recently, which had just under 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how, and I probably don't want to know how. What I do know is that he's had to start again from scratch, and that he makes first-class content and deserves a visit. Uh, thanks, sir. Harmful, uh, harmful opinions. If you're going to say harmful opinions is God, and if you post harmful opinions is God, harmful opinions is God, harmful opinions is God, it's going to mark that as, you know, bad as well. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions. Dr. Random McCam. One doesn't simply describe Dr. Random McCam. One experiences Dr. Random McCam. We'll take a look at, at, at a robust feminist channel. Christy Winters, there you are. Videos. You wish all this. Yep. So we've got a video about bearing. Another video about bearing. A video about Trump, a video about Sargon, Trump again, bearing again, bearing again, bearing again. Oh, base fizz, <laughs> combo breaker, good guy too. Okay, Sargon, bearing, bearing Trump. Oh, bearing, bearing Sargon, bearing Sargon, bearing, bearing, bearing Trump, bearing. Oh, Dawkins! I see a Dawkins. Dawkins has has has, has showed up on on this scene. <laughs> what, is it, what is he? Is he just watching? Is he? <laughs> All right, Sargon, <laughs> Sargon. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't be bothered anymore. The, the time has come for this to bear repeating, and to repeat bearing. Bearing, bearing, Trump, Sargon, Trump, bearing, 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 Sargon, bearing, bearing, Trump, bearing, bearing, Sargon, bearing, Sargon, bearing, 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 Trump, bearing, Sargon, Sargon! That's like even lower, right? That's healthy. How, how dare they? Oh, how, how, oh, how, isn't that, isn't that self refuted? Huh? Oh, how, how, how. Okay, Christy fucked up. She's a. Bearing, bearing, Trump, Sargon, Trump, bearing, 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 Sargon, bearing, bearing, Trump, bearing, bearing, Sargon, bearing, Sargon, bearing, 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 Trump, bearing, Sargon, Sargon. Zoom thing. But she's a cocky, 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 cocky dick. Kite, 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 kite. Bitch. Asshole. Nice guy. What? <laughs> Wait, what do you <laughs> Oh, the new intro. Yeah, it's all right. I thought it might be a bit long. <laughs> Lol.